is number seven. Oh wait, was there something in between? No, no. Now we go on to number seven. Futurama. Now, this show has a lot of hilarious characters. So which one? Well, it could be, uh, it could be Bender. No, it's not Bender. It could be the professor. Of this show. But this planet is next in line. That's Earth. The planet we live on? I'd hate to be those guys. Philip J. Fry. Man, this guy, he may be an idiot, but he's so funny. Man, uh, I like. For those of you who haven't heard, the basic plot of Futurama is this guy from two th the year 2000. Uh, gets frozen and gets unthawed in the year 3000, so he's in the future. The way the way this show is is played is so well done. I love Futurama, and I'm a little. I don't really like the idea of how they're just making straight to DVD movies now. I'd rather them go back to just put the TV show back on. I like Fry. You know, he's a nice guy. Just a, he's a nice guy, and he's like the typical. He's actually. The typical guy, you know, you know, well, except that he's an idiot, you know, usually we're a little smarter than that, but, um, you know, he's just lazy, he just doesn't want to do anything, he's a delivery boy, he's your typical guy in the year 3000, ah, man, Fry may not be smart, but he's, like, one of the funniest characters, so moving on to number six. Oh yeah, we're going real old school for this one. The Andy Miller Show. No, what did I say Andy Miller? Jeez. I was just thinking about Barney Miller, sorry. The Andy Griffith Show. Ah, uh, it was a great show, but, um, Andy Griffith isn't the one I'm talking about. No, it's his beloved deputy, Barney Fife. This guy, Don Knotts, man, he had, I don't know, it was, uh, Barney Fife was a hilarious character. I mean, just, like, the way he was, he was a little paranoid, but he was funny, and, uh, he always wanted to, he, he thought in his, you know, he was always thinking, since he's a deputy, he could always fix everything. That's what, that was his, that was his, uh, attitude. I can fix anything. And he would always try to fix it, and it would always mess up. He would always try to mess up, or maybe he would accidentally do something good. But it was always, uh, fun to watch. This particular scene that I'm going to show you is, uh, it's a favorite of mine. There's, um, the episode is called The Loaded Goat, and it's a scene where, um, uh, there is this goat that was loose in town that was owned by this guy, and, um, they were, they were doing explode, they were, um, d using dynamite, using exploding stuff down at the underpass, or to make an underpass or overpass or whatever it is. And so they're using, you know, dynamite to explode stuff. But the goat gets into this tool shed where all the dynamite's getting so it eats a bunch of sticks of dynamite. And and the scene that I'm going to show you is with Andy Griffith and Barney Fife talking about the loaded goat. With, um, and the explosions and stuff in the background are from the underpass. So just watch for a second. A goat full of dynamite? What are we going to do? Well, the main thing is to stay calm. That's right. Nothing to worry about. There's no sense getting in a panic. Just stay calm and cool. There we go! Uh, that's just like on the highway. <laughs> now, remember. If you just take... I'm not sure how well you can see. I'm sorry for the bad recept camera reception. But if you just take a look at the look on his face when he goes, There he goes! I mean, it's just hilarious. Like, the guy's facial expression. Like, any good comedian knows that you're... What, 
um, what you say is only half of what you, is what makes it funny. A quarter of it is facial expressions, and the other quarter is vo the way you um your vocal expressions, the way you say it. Like if he just said, "Oh, there it goes," that wouldn't have been funny. But he's like, "Oh, there it goes!" And I, <laughs> this guy had it down, Pat. So, yeah, Don Knotts, Barney Fight, number six. Man, I'm only on number six. This video is going to take forever. Go get yourself a, a drink, a Pepsi. No, get Coke. Coke's better than Pepsi. And uh, get yourself a bag of chips because we're in, going to be in for a long haul. So, moving on to, what, are we only on number five? Holy crap. Let's see, we got... I'll, I'll figure it out. So, moving on to the next one. A thunder of jets in an open sky, a streak of gray, and a cheerful... Ah! Rocky and Bullwinkle, or the adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Now, this show is kind of before my time, but nevertheless, it doesn't make one of its characters any less funny. It's not Rocky, it is Bullwinkle. It's a no-brainer. I mean, like, the darn moose is so hilarious. Don't believe me? Watch. Well, our heroes are now in Pennsylvania, a country where everybody's a spy and everything's a secret. And what's more, last time when our boys opened the door to their room, they found it in a dreadful condition. Bullwinkle instantly made a brilliant deduction. Somebody's been in here. I know, cause when we went out, this blotter was facing the other way. At that moment in the underground headquarters of the inter... Now, that was a... This is a quick scene. The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, I don't know how long they were on. But I do know that when it started out, it was... It was mainly Rocky, you know, it was all about Rocky. But Bullwinkle became so famous, they changed the name to The Bullwinkle Show. I mean, that's saying something. Anyway, Bullwinkle was definitely a loved character. Hilarious to the bone, and should not be forgotten. So, moving on to the next one. Which is number four, by the way. How could Bugs Bunny not be in this list? Like, would you seriously not put Bugs Bunny on the top t ten funniest, car uh, not cartoon characters, on the funniest TV characters? If you didn't, if you wouldn't have put him on your list, you're insane. Just because he's in a cartoon doesn't make it any difference. Heck, I've already put one, I've already put one cartoon character on my list. Do I have to say why Bugs Bunny is funny? No. You know. But I'll show you a scene anyway. Maxie, take this rabbit into the other room and let him have it. Okay, boys. <laughs> All right, Maxie. Let me have it. Come, come. You heard what the boss said. Let me have it. Oh, uh, okay, but, uh... I let him have it, boss, just like you said. You let him have it. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Bugs Bunny is just... Even if half his stuff is just... Most of his stuff is just slapstick, doesn't matter. It's Bugs Bunny. He's funny. That's all I have to say. Moving on to number three. It means more than for a man to... How do the pig tracks get on the sea on? Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. Can he drink from a whip? No, we can't. He's a pig. Look out, he is a spider pig. This Homer Simpson. Duh. 
Okay, when I first started watching The Simpsons, like most people, like most guys like me, I started watching it for Bart and kept watching it for Homer. I mean, the guy, oh man, how, how can you just, how can you describe how funny Homer is? He's put it this way, he's so funny, he's had so many people rip him off, like Family Guy and American Dad, or maybe American Dad's ripping off Family Guy, which is ripping off The Simpsons. I mean, hello. It's Homer Simpson, man. Down. I mean, woo! But he's number three. Well, I just this is for me personally, right? I mean, like you guys could put him at number one, and I wouldn't really disagree with you. You know, these these are all pretty close. So yeah, The Simpsons. Homer Simpson.